Previously on SAS Australia. Yes! A new group of celebrity recruits. About to receive a face full of pepper spray. Have endured pain. Oh, I'm quitting. I can't do it. Come on! Brutal physicality. Do your legs! You call me can again, and I'll smash you in the fucking face. Do it. And face their fears. I'm definitely most afraid of water. Your strengths will prevail. Tonight, a treacherous climb. Stop! What are you doing? This is the hardest thing I've ever done. Stop! Stop! Will test the bonds of teamwork. Don't join the military not to be a team player. Paulie, am I able to drop the road? Hold up, Lachlan. Just don't talk to him. I just know if I do it my way, it's probably going to work. And fires up. I don't like that and I won't accept that. Old hostilities. We all had a great plan and you fucked it. No, go fuck, fuck yourself. Off. But which recruit... Who is the bigger liability? ...is on a knife's edge. I would love to just fucking call him. It's day five of the Merciless SAS Selection Course. I was really cold when I was sleeping last night. The 13 remaining recruits wake up exhausted and sore. I'm tired. After a brutal late night beasting. Ten burpees, go! <sighs> Fucking hell, this is pathetic! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Simone would have hated that last night. Yeah, that would have broke Simone, I reckon. Like, it feels really restricted, but it, just bend it so you do get that bit of range in it. Number 15, NRLW player Millie Boyle provides support for the other recruits, patching up injuries. I feel like I've always been part of a team, whether that's uh, from early days with my family or whether that's playing sport. I'm always wanting to help others. This is my uh, side hustle. This is my side hustle. It's something that gives me a lot of joy. I wish I had money to tip you, you know? Say so when, my friend. For 50 year old AFL commentator Wayne Carey, the course is taking a toll on his aging body. Hey, Doc, what if we have to hang on something? Yeah. I, can, I can hang for 30 seconds, but predominantly with my right hand. Okay. Yeah. The body's been through a lot. My shoulder has been worked on, you know, many, many times because of um, injuries. So I'm expecting there'll be a lot of pain on the course. You know, I've, I've had that through my football career and understand those things. And like, there's no way you can put it up. Like what would happen if you put it up? No, I just literally can't because go You yet. can't dead hang like that. No, like, no, no. I've hidden it for four days. For me to pull off my number, will be that I physically can't take another step. Move! Stop fucking moving! Get in the transport! Come on, let's go today, let's go! That bruise is getting lethal. Ah, oh, well. Hopefully I get another beauty today. <laughs> Feeling all right? Barely tall, but I wish I could just snap out of it. As the recruits head toward their first savage test of the day, number 14, Elia Green, is concerned about her mental state as the course gets harder and harder. Hard to explain what's yeah. going on in my mind. Have you, like, suffered with it for a little while? Um, since I was a kid. Probably mostly since mum died. The public perceives me as just being a rugby player or, you know, life is all, it's all good. But I know that I'm not always the most mentally strong person. Everything that's happened to you in your life, but obviously since mum's died, like, it's just fucked. And it obviously just takes so much time. Like, I'm so lucky that I still have mum and dad. I never like to think that I have been through a lot. There's a lot of people out there that have been through worse. 
and I've learned a lot throughout the experiences in my life so far. I know they're only going to make me a better person. Oh. <laughs> you got out. Get out! Hurry up! Let's get a fucking spark up our asses. Follow on. In the special forces, we are a team of leaders. Hurry the fuck up! Leadership is about really understanding who is in your team and using each and every one of them to your advantage. Tighten it up. Move, move. That's what we're looking for in the special forces operator. Drop your Bergens and sit on them. SEAL. We hear it all the time. S-E-A-L is actually an acronym for sea, air, and land, which simply means that we can come through turbulent seas, we can come at you through turbulent skies, and we can sure as hell come at you over treacherous lands, right? But those kinds of operations don't exist without trust, okay? Trust in each other, trust in your leaders has to be there from beginning to end in order to ensure 100% success and make sure it's a zero fail mission, right? Regardless of personal issues, today you will learn to trust each other. Along a rugged sandy beach, the recruits were like heavy zodiacs, then endure a brutal water beasting before a punishing paddle through the surf with the first team to make it back to shore declared the winner. This is a test of leadership and it replicates being on the battlefield. You need to look around you, use the strength and weaknesses of the team in order to complete the mission. I'm gonna break you into boat crews, starting with Alpha. The leader is number 16. Go stand at the oh, bow. Sir. Number two, you are Bravo, boat crew leader. Well, I was named Captain of North Melbourne at 21, so I guess I've got a little bit of leadership experience. Once you hear your number, grab your Bergen, stand at your prospective boat. Your teammates, you know, obviously they're the, they're the ones you don't want to let down. But that's what I did when I uh, slept with a teammate's wife. That's the biggest regret um, of my life. I'm 16. Your time to shine now. Okay, we're giving this to you because you fucking need it. Make it count. This is a fucking task that counts. This is one. Good stuff. Good. But I've learned if you keep looking in the rear view mirror, you, you're never going to be able to go forward. And that's what drives me today. Go! Go! Let's go! Let's really move you out of front. Let's go! Everybody should have Let's equal go! fucking weight. If you don't have any go, weight on go, your head go, right go. now, then you need to rotate around and make it work without the boat touching the ground. That's it. Good gun. This task, the recruits are leveraging Zodiacs. Uh, and they're not light. Why the fuck are you doing at the back? There you go. Come on. Let's go left a little bit. Uh, it's not over. Bro. Until the job is done. Uh. And soft sand in itself sucks because every step you take, you feel like it's sucking every bit of energy out of you. Everyone okay? I'm killing him, really. Stay calm. It requires everything you got. Push forward, guys. Physically and emotionally. You can't, come on. Just to get to the end. I cannot hear you. Come on. Do not fucking lose him. Go. Do not drop that there ball. There you go. Work in. Go. All the way in. On me. Bow on me. And down, boat. Straight into the DS. Move! Bow right here. Bow right here. Right there. Stop. Fucking compose yourselves! With little time for rest, the recruits must now withstand a relentless beasting in the surf and on the sand. When I say go, you're gonna turn around and you're gonna hit the surf zone. Go! Move. Go, go, go! go. Come on! Let's go, let's go, move, move! Go! Straight in there! Move! 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 Beach beasting is horrible. You feel like you're on a treadmill. Running on sand is horrendous, let alone jumping in and out of the water. Go, go, go! The beach beasting is to see if you're willing to never give up. 
Every inch of you better be covered in sand. No matter how much you're hurting. <laughs> this is where we thrive! This is where we operate! How tired you are. You will bear crawl into the surf zone. Move! Can you still put one foot in front of the other? Why are you always at the fucking back? Why are you always at the back? Look at me! You don't belong at the back! You do not belong at the back! Get in there! If you don't want to be here, you know what to do! Go! Number 14! Move out! Move! Let's go! As the grueling beach beasting continues, number 14, Elia, is fading. Will you submerge yourself? Physically, I'm not a quitter. My body won't give up. But mentally, I doubt myself a lot. And I know that all situations are different. But in a crisis, I panic and I seize up. Number 14! What's up? I'm sorry. I promise you I'll give my Great effort. You've grown from strength to strength. Strength to strength. Sink that with this. Work on it, and I promise you, you'll be a fucking formidable force. I promise you that. But well done. Amazing effort. Amazing. See. Right. Grab your Bergen. I am proud of myself for doing this, because I think it takes a brave character to do this. I do not regret a single thing that I've done in this course because I have found out a lot about myself. Elia becomes the fifth recruit to exit the course. Come on, let's not switch off now. You probably know right now that this is not a joke. This is not a game. This is how serious it gets. When I say go, sprint to your perspective boats. Go! Go! Come on, come on, come on! In a final test of leadership, the first team to paddle through the breakers to DS Oli and make it back to shore will be deemed the winner. Go, go, go! I knew that thing. I didn't like team sports because I was always the last person chosen. The one get out of the Hopefully I don't have to rely on anyone because, look, let's face it, on this course, we're all dog eat dog. Paddle, paddle. And I feel like that's kind of what I've been doing for a long time. All right. Everyone in the boat. On the counter, three. Go, three, two, one, go. Big wave, target. Keep hungry. The recruits are going to have to paddle out through the surf zone. Go, go, go. Keep going, keep going. Hey, paddle. It's turbulent. It's violent. It's chaotic. It can knock the wind out of you, and it can certainly drown you if you don't know what you're doing. Quick paddle, 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 you guys! Go! 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 Team Alpha, led by Wayne, coordinate their strokes, desperately trying to clear the waves. Go! Left side paddle. Right, go, go, go there! My understanding is the reason why I was named AFL captain is because people followed the way I went about things, whether it be good or bad. It was so long ago, but I remember the feeling. So I just don't want to let the team down. While Team Alpha make their way through the breakers. Man down! Paulie's Team Bravo floundered dangerously in the waves. Grab! 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 He's not here. You got a hot pole! Yeah, Go! Dig! Go. Dig! Dig! Go. Silent in the chaos, 
Number five, Jeff Hugel tries to get Team Bravo out of the danger zone. In terms of authority, I have a lot of trust in the team around me. Search! 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 But you have to be able to step up when the odds are stacked against you and do the job that needs to be done. Take hard, 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 hard. Hurry no. the fuck up! Don't dig it in! Get those puddles in. Good timing. It'll make all the difference. Ahead, Team Alpha approach DS Ollie. Good effort. Now dig it in. Let's get in there. Rounding the marker and back to shore. Make sure we get it straight. We'll get away. Teamwork is very much a test of leadership. And it's how we communicate in those pressured situations as a team. Go, 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 go. Which is fundamental to us being able to achieve that task. Keep going. Oh, no. 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 Go! Let's go! Quick! Fight out of the boats! Let's go! Get up off your head! Get paddled in! Paddled in! Paddled in! Get up off your head! Reaching the beach first, Wayne's Team Alpha rush the boat up the beach. Right here, hold it, hold it. Stand by. Winning and passing the task. Number 16, fucking good effort. Most special things to me in terms of my career is playing in two winning grand finals. That was a, a massive team effort and I don't think I'd be the player I was without the team that we had. Come on! Who's falling straight? Straight! Behind them, Paulie's Team Bravo finally approached the beach in second place. Up there! Here are the paddles! There we go! Failing the task. If I do fail, hopefully I'll learn something. But I think if you entertain too much doubt, then you can't pass this because you have to be absolutely confident. You've got to learn to love this shit, to embrace the environment, to embrace the elements, to embrace each other. Otherwise, it's no fucking good. You'll be fucking operating by yourself. Fact. You need each other. That's your fucking debrief. Go. Let's go. Catch up. Coming up. Keep it going. Do not stop. A terrifying task. Come on, let's go. Let's go. As tensions rise between Paulie. Why do you see me moving? I don't need help. And Lockie. You're too busy fucking arguing. There's a fucking clusterfuck. Then. Be a man. Do you really want to go there? Conflict turns to all-out war. You're being a stubborn, bloody 12-year-old man. And... I won't fucking off. Lockie's day of reckoning. Who the fuck do you think you are? Okay, who puts their socks up and doesn't wring them out first? Please, tell me. Seriously, prime posy for wet socks. <laughs> After a cold and wet first task, the recruits dry their soaked kit. Dry as a bone. Rich. Rich, this is genius. Thank you. Seriously. Where'd you learn this, you know? No, we weren't allowed to be near hot things. No. Someone would put someone's face on it. <laughs> just, just one person. Should we ask them for a tumble dryer? <laughs> In the last 10 years, I mean, I really haven't worked. It blows my mind. People get up, they go to work every single day, living a mundane, boring life. Captain? I've just done whatever I've wanted to do, and it's got me this far. Hello? Uh, is your number clean? Brand new. Look at that. Beautiful. Spotless. While the recruits continue prep for the rest of the day, Elia makes a difficult call to Godmother Beverly. Hi. 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 Hi
Hi, Auntie Bev. How are you, my heart? You okay? I'm in all sorts. <laughs> Journey, darling. These things don't disappear in an instant. I'm just like the past three nights, I just keep seeing mum in my dreams. Oh, God. You always knew she was going to be there. She's there with you anyhow whenever things get tough. So, I just want to be there, wrap my arms around you, darling, huh? I love you. I need a cuddle. I need a cuddle. Yeah. I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you soon. I'll be seeing you when I'm looking at you. you. Will? Yeah, okay. promise. I love you. Promise I love you to be sweetheart. I am so unbelievably proud of you. Love I love you. you. Okay, sweetheart. Take care. Bye. Be in touch. Bye, Auntie Bev. Bye. Can't believe it. Physically, I've absolutely loved this course. There's a lot, a lot to learn out of doing this and I have no regret. I've loved the challenges that it's been. I don't even regret getting pep sprayed. I would probably do it again. <laughs> it's an incredible course and incredible people are in it. And it takes an incredible person to do it. So I am proud of myself doing that. I just have a lot to work on, that's all. Get it, you wagons, let's go! In a further test of leadership and teamwork, the recruits are brought deep into remote bushland. Keep it moving! It's a bit slippery, guys. Hurry up, number one. For a terrifyingly real tactical exercise. Go! Move! OK, one of the main differentiations between special forces and conventional forces is the array of insurgent skills that we have available to us. Having these insurgent skills gives us that upper edge against the enemy then it all comes down to leadership. You need to trust in your teammates. Trust that they've got your back. And as leaders, you need to trust in your plan and trust in your leadership. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to conduct a team task, Team Alpha and Team Bravo. You're going to come across an obstacle which will seem inaccessible, but you're going to get yourself, your team, and your equipment up it. Replicating a dangerous insertion into enemy territory, each team must scale the cliff face of a thunderous 80-metre-high waterfall. They keep climbing! And transport essential equipment safely to the top. Strong leadership and clear communication within the team are critical elements to pass the task. OK, follow me. Don't take your own route, OK? It's dangerous. First to brave the terrifying ascent is Team Alpha. Good start. Again, led by number 16, Wayne Carey. That ladder is going to move around. And this will be a real test of leadership. See who steps up to the front. Uh, just go one at a time. Who's our most confident climber? Oh, that's fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Identify within a team the strengths and the weaknesses and, and make a plan from that. Should we get two people up the top? I think two people at the top. One person on a radio. You need to be tactically sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That whilst doing this, that the enemy are unaware of your whereabouts. You need to have a radio down and a radio up. They can hastily do it and make mistakes, or they can take their time and do it correctly. Okay, then, stop there, then. Team leader. Your staff. Allowing input from the team, leader Wayne confirms the plan. So number 15, sending her up with the radio. Yeah. Sending number eight up with the rope. Yeah. After that, we'll start to set up to get the uh, equipment up, and then the rest will follow. OK, everyone happy with that plan? Yes, yeah, stop. Yeah. All right, let's go, guys. Trusting her strength and communication skills. Good luck, guys. NRLW player Millie starts the deadly climb. As an enemy, you're always expecting us to come through the front door on the most direct route. Get out there, 15! In the Special Forces, for us, we will take the hardest route 
and the least expected route. Oh my god! Keep it going! Do not stop! Okay, swing yeah. And this exercise is going to be perfect for that. Step at a time. Good. Yes, she hasn't radioed yet. Fighting against the torrent of water, the rope ladder twists away from the rock face. You number 15 are a fucking warrior. Let's go. That's Millie, yeah. Despite number two, Paulie, being Team Bravo leader, it's number 10, Lockie, dictating the plan. This is just uh, this is just getting up. If you're swinging, go around the ladder. I can be a controlling person. If I know what needs to be done and I can see the vision, I will tell people what they have to do. Head down, go boom, 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 boom. Nice and slow. I just know if I do it my way, it's probably going to work. Out here, we just want to get to the top, get out of here and complete the mission. Oh, stand up. Good, 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 good. Come here. Number 15, what's the game plan? I've got the radio. Okay. Having reached the top, number 15 must radio in. I'm at the top. Okay, great. Let us know how the ladder was. Cut. Yep. Yeah, front ways, sideways at times, but just remember to push off your legs because my arms are cooked. Push off your legs, her arms are cooked. Got a good line of communication there then, haven't you? Good effort. With clear lines of communication set, retired NRL star Darius Boyd now faces the daunting 80-metre climb, carrying the extra weight of the rope. OK, Mills, Darbs is coming up next with the rope. OK, Cleet, let me know how he goes. Trust is something I do value, especially in, in team environments. Darbs is halfway up. Let's go, number eight. Yeah, I can see him. He's fucking solid. When you do trust in someone and it, and it works out, you get a sense of achievement and that, that trust is pretty hard to break after that. Dad's is up. And number eight, come here. Start thinking about your game plan now, you two. Start talking. Reaching the top, Darius must let the rope down to retrieve the all-critical equipment. Drop slowly and I'll let you know when it's at the right level. As number seven, Superbikes presenter Rihanna Crean helps Millie coordinate the pickup. Is that enough rope? Yep, Barry's got the rope, so just make sure you've got a little bit of slack. First day of reporting live on, on Supercars, I was incredibly nervous and, and shaking, and your voice goes high and you speak really fast. OK, it's on its way up. Take it slow. Barry is coming behind. On selection, it's just going to have to be controlling my thoughts, not letting them overtake my mind. Keep talking, because OK, keep pulling the rope up now, and Barry will assist. And, and just talking my way through it. Just pull it, that's it, let's go now. Arms, pure arms, let's go. Taking on the crucial role of supporting the equipment safely up the cliff face. Come on, let's go, let's go! Number four, Barry Hall, starts the harrowing ascent. OK, it's probably just over halfway. Nice, Dobbs. With a deadly drop to the rocky ground below, one wrong move could see the equipment plunge, taking him with it. <laughs> One, two, two three. Hang on, one. Let me know when the package is secure. One, two, three. We've got the package up the top and Barry's up the top. Great work, guys. With Barry and the vital equipment secured, number six, Melissa, and number seven, Rihanna, quickly scale the treacherous waterfall. Let's go, let's go, let's go. With the rest of Team Alpha safely up top. Keep going. Leader Wayne, his last to tackle the perilous climb. Nice job. Fuck. Yeah, how he's going? Stop! Head! Pick your arm! Fuck. But halfway up, he's struggling with the ladder. Fuck. And a painful shoulder injury. Get inside the rock. Keep hugging. Stop. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, fuck. Oh. No. That was me saying, fucking calm the fuck down. Turn the ladder at the bottom. Now climb. Fuck. Hello. Number 16, get your arm out. Get out there. Out. That's it, yes. The left arm, fuck. Up. Up, down. 
I've always said that failure stays with you a lot longer than what success does. Get out there! And if I fail... Fucking funny in your round! That would be shattering. That was 16! Listen to me! Next. Holy, can we please get the bag up? Just hold up, Lachlan. Communication breakdowns. Oh, you're on a mocky man, you know? I'm not mocky, I'm you're just weak. Really you you really just did. Lead to a fiery clash. You fucked it. Well, just admit it, and we will move right, the fuck, fuck on. Oh. Oh. Fucking good game plan. Despite Anne's frustration with Wayne, his debrief is positive. Number 16, great game plan. Fucking great leadership. Let yourself down on the climb. Okay? Right, follow the DS. Back to your burdens, debrief amongst yourself. Not a bad effort overall. You've got five minutes, number two, to make a plan. Then come back to me and tell me what that plan is. After a fail in the previous task, Team Bravo leader Paulie needs to show stronger leadership and communication to make amends. I'm going to need more help to pull that up. OK, so yes. how, about, how about this? So... Hold on. Second. No, hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. This, I think this will make sense. I'll go up first. I'll go up with everything. The road... Hold on. Hold on. Let's have, let's have a think about it just quickly. But as Paulie tries to get his point across, number 10 Lockie takes over. I'll rig a system up with a pulley uh, as best as I can. What order do you think we should go in? How about uh, this? How whatever about order you want. OK, how about this? People always underestimated me. They always have, because I'm, I'm a little guy. Lucky, once you throw the rope down... In a sea of bullies. We're running out of time. Unable to cut through, Paulie's plan is unheard. Listen in! Risking communication breakdowns during the task. Number two. Stuff. OK, you got a plan? Yes. OK, yeah. let's execute it then. All right. OK. Stop. Number ten is first on the ladder. Lockie, can you hear me? And already missing communications with team leader Paulie. Hey, Lock. Radio. Just check. Communication is key. It's the lifeblood of any operation, any mission. Pay attention about how he goes up. You don't like water coming off you. It's very difficult. It must be fucking hard. And if you can't communicate well, then everything will start to fall apart. Quickly scaling the 80 meter cliff face. Number 10 is all clear. Yep. Number 10 okay, is all so clear. hold on. So repeat. Just repeat that. He must now communicate clearly with Paulie as each recruit makes the treacherous climb. Can you repeat that? Just yeah. You gotta. We can hear you. I can't hear you. Okay, we can hear you. Go. What channel are you on? Talk to me. <laughs> you ready to us? Let's hope the enemy aren't close by here. Check. Have you got me? Okay, Lockie. Thanks, mate. We've got Richard coming up now. While Lockie and Paulie struggled to establish comms. Hey, Lockie, can you hear me? Number 13, convicted drug dealer Richard is already halfway up. We're going to send up the bag, mate. But we'll wait until uh, we've got uh, a couple of other people up there to give you a hand pulling her up. Richard has reached the top. Someone bring the bag with them, and then we'll pull it up. Just hold, hold up. Why don't we send some more people up? I don't need help pulling up 15 kilos, Paulie. The hardest thing is, like, everything I do, I'm always the leader, I'm always the captain, I'm always at the front. Just wait for the rope, mate. Let's get a few more people up there. So you would like me just to stand around here while the two girls climbing? It's going to be hard being told what to do. OK, next person. Right. Paulie, can we please get the bag up? As Paulie tries to explain his plan, they argue over the radio and Lockie fails to inform Paulie number one Ebony has reached the top. Let's just get moving on a bag. As soon as Anna's out of the way, she's not on the ladder just yet. We don't want Anna, we want a bag. Just get a bag hooked up to the fucking rope. She's not, she's not on the ladder yet, so just, just wait a minute. He just wants everyone to get up before we start this. Doesn't make any sense. Tell her to go back and get the fucking bag. If you have to lie down, be patient. Copy that? What are we waiting for? There's no room for an individual hero in the Special Forces. She on the ladder. We're team players and we support each other. Just hook the fucking bag up. Heroes become dangerous, become liabilities. We don't want fucking Ellen, we want a bag. And their actions can cause injuries and death. Just hold up, Lachlan. I don't know what we're waiting for. That is good to go. Paulie, am I able to drop the rope? 
Just give me a minute and I'll tell you when, okay? Anna's on the Anna's on the ladder, guys. Yes. I'm just stopping it. Undermining Paulie's direction. Number 10 lowers the rope for the bag. Paulie! The rope's coming down. Mine's coming down. Failing to see Anna climbing and to report it in. Oh my god. Can I put myself on? Wait till you see me moving. Don't, don't, just don't talk to him. I'm not big on giving up control. Um, I like to be in charge. I like to have everything the way I want it because if it's done a different way and it fails, then it would have worked my way. And it's mine, guys. I hate relying on other people. Number 10. Number 13 has told you twice. It's the radio. Twice that he has eyes on number 12. So tell him, damn it. Twice. We have eyes on Anna. We have eyes on Anna. She's on the road. And you're too busy fucking arguing, number 10, look at me, that the most important asset that's on the fucking rope, you haven't reported back. So they've lost sight of her. They don't know that you've got sight of her. He's told you twice and you failed to report back. Yes, sir. Switch on. You're too fucking busy arguing. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh. Anna has reached the top. Anna has reached the top. Next climb can begin. Where is the bag? Satisfied it's safe to raise the mission essentials. Jeff's on his way. Paulie sends it up with number five, Jeff. Right, it's too keen, mate. Bag is secure. Off you go. I'll be hooked up and I'll see you soon. Out. Any respect is mutual. So if, uh, if I'm presented with a fair and equitable authority that is telling me to do something, then I'll accept it. Number five is safe at the top now, so you're good to go. But I don't like authority that is not just, is not authority to me. That's that's bullying, so um, I don't like that, and I won't accept that. Keep going, man, keep going, keep going. Up you get, up you get. With the mission complete, and debriefs Team Bravo. You two were too busy fucking arguing to even keep an eye on the most important asset, which is your fucking team members. Once they went past that ledge, you've got no eye contact with them. No one had a fucking clue. You didn't have a fucking clue where she was. She could have been fucking stuck under that fucking waterfall, for all we know. I would say you two clash. You've got fucking two leaders right here. It's fair stuff. Number 12 is fucking capable and probably a better voice of reason. 100%. Communication over capability here. You chose capability over communication. And it was a fucking clusterfuck of communication. Fucking get on with each other. All right, follow the DS, go. Coming up. Five minutes quicker, mission done. What the fuck, man? I've Lockie lashes been... out. You're bullying me, mate. You're that's pure bullying. Uh -huh. But Paulie stands his ground. What's the point of talking to a dickhead who won't make the peace? Oh fuck, hey. Returning from the task, Wayne fights his excruciating shoulder pain. Fuck. While he suffers. Well, look, guys, for the sake of the peace, whatever you think I did wrong, I'm sorry about it. The two hour drive is a time to debrief on Bravo's failures. Oh, I feel like you just wanted to argue with me. Not at all, brother. I grew up in a really rough area. I was a slightly smaller kid, and I went to a kind of rough schools, and uh, I got bullied and picked on. I even said, All right, I'll do what you want to do. What do you want to do? And you're like, Just wait, have patience. I was like, Well, there's did, we, did we get the bags up? Did it all work? No, but. Well, it just didn't work the way you wanted it to work. I think any person who goes to school and suffers bullying has two options. You can be the victim or you can fight back, and uh, I chose to fight back. 
Yeah. What was the problem about me sending the rope down? A big fucking giant yellow oh, rope. Yellow. And then you just, in case what? Because it was exactly at a, a crossover. That's fucking perfect. No, hold on, hold on. That means I've picked a you, great you just fucking location. location where you can go. No. Clip up and fucking go. It's Five minutes crossover. quicker. Mission done. What the fuck, man? Oh, you want to mock me, man, you know? I'm not mocking. I'm saying we had a you good really plan. Just, you got to drop the ego. you got to drop the ego. I think we all had a great fucking plan and you fucked it. Well, just admit it and we will move right, the fuck, fuck yourself. off. You're a root cat. Oh, oh. I'm fucking wrecked. Yeah. What a fucking ride. Jesus Christ. Never want to go in that car again. Uh, I, can, I can't work it out. Oh. We argued the whole fucking way home, and he goes, all right, all right, all right, all right. You're wrong, but I'll apologise. Well, well, that's not an apology. Under fire from his Bravo teammates. Paulie? Yo. Number two Paulie is joined by alpha leader Wayne who's ignoring his pain for the time being. You completed the task today. Yeah, and a few uh, people not quite happy with what happened, but they saw things, I don't know, it was really strange. We, they made me the leader, we had a plan, we did the plan, and then somehow they were unhappy with how it went. Bit of a Captain America kind of involvement there. Right, <laughs> I think the general consensus is, mate, that you know, when you're the leader, you still got to listen to others. Well, I sort of get that, but fuck, you know. Leadership is, comes in all forms, um, and you can lead in different ways. Some people are, are more are boisterous than, than others. Everyone can talk, and they, but it's got to be in, you know, it's got to be in an orderly manner, not just talking over one another and fuck, gaggling like a bunch of chooks. You just need a clear voice, I think. You know, it's like captain of a footy team, you know? Yeah, no, you've got to listen, mate. You've got to listen to other people's views. The other thing that you've got to take into account is, you know, people's emotions in here are elevated and high. That's fair. That's fair. So you're going to get, you're going to get that. Being able to work together, you know, not making decisions for yourself at making decisions um, together as a group is, is really important. You got another job, mate? What's up? Can, can you summon the DS for me, please? Yeah. Staff! You cool? Uh, number 16 wants to have a chat with you, staff. What's up, number 16? Um, don't want to make a mockery of this. Yep. Are you that fucked? I can't climb up a ladder, so... OK, yeah. you know your own body. That's fucked. So what do you want to do? Yep, I'd like to, uh... BW? Yeah. Absolutely. Climb this jet. Yep, thank you. Thank you. This is probably so What I want you to do is I want you to grab your Bergen, number 16. Leave with your head held high. Sorry, then. yeah. Well, see you guys at the reunion. No. No. Oh, what? No, I'm just, I'm leaving. Why? No, because no, of my shoulder. When are you hey? leaving? I'm leaving now. Oh, my God. Yeah. So if you want, if anyone wants those pants, I'll take a spare pair of socks. <laughs> you know what? There's some socks there. Be great to so see you, mate. Nice to see you, mate. Yeah, good good friend. Friend. So, yeah no, good I'm good. good. Yeah, no. Sometimes you have to try things that, that are hard and you, and you may not succeed in. But I think, you know, the, I think not having a go at something will sit with you a lot longer than having a go and failing. This is arguably one of the hardest things that I've ever done. But I'm tremendously proud and I have no doubt this is just uh, 
just something that stays with you forever. Coming up. You're unbelievable, Let's just be man. real, mate. I don't trust you. It's all out war. What's the point of talking to a dickhead who won't make the peace? And now I, you're calling I, I, names? I, I, I give you the olive you? branch How and you push it in my face, mate. a chat with the fire five minutes after communication breakdowns in the task and a fiery clash on return to base number two paulie wants a word with Lockie. look man i don't want any bad blood with you you know trouble with us we're both kings in our own world we're clashing a little bit and that's all it is you know yeah, but i'm not clashing with you man you shut me down today and that's what like that wasn't me clashing that was just you shutting me down okay look how about we just go forward, man, you know? We... Yeah, but I don't feel like you're ready to move forward and be the team and take people's best assets on. Look, mate, I'm a person who believes in peace and harmony, you know? And that's all I want. And I want it with you. You're unbelievable, Let's just man. just be mean, mate. Look, I don't... don't trust you because you still think what you've done today... Mate, what? it's not a hang and a fence. Look, you know... I had to make some decisions, which is a leadership role, and I did. And it didn't change the outcome of the mission. It did? We, oh we won the God. mission. Oh. The mission was get the bags up, get the people up, right? The only thing that changed Why was can't you, we be you more wanted efficient? the bags earlier and I just padded out because I was generally concerned for people's safety. But the, everyone was safe. Yep. It was it look, mate, they'll run up a bloody ladder but, to no, where there was no, no one else was worried. Well, I was worried. Look, mate, can we move forward? I'm afraid to go forward and it happen, happen again Come because... Come you're a man. was afraid to go forward. What are you, Lex, girlfriend, the way you're talking? Look, you know, be a man. Do you really want to go there? You're being a stubborn bloody 12-year-old, man. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, stubborn 12-year-old. Hey, what's the point of talking to a dickhead who won't make the peace? And now you're calling I'm still out. going pretty hard out there. No, I feel I'm about to walk out there in a minute and say, you fucking kids, I'm over it. Those guys yelling. They better not get us in trouble. Are you going to talk? I try to make the peace and you, you shit on me. I can see that we had a point of difference and I can't change it now. No, you can be like, okay, I know. See, no, don't tell me what I have to say to you. You're no, bullying me, you're, mate. Oh, five people I've today. I've apologised to you fucking you three times. No, so, I don't accept your apology. Look, mate, what is the point of this conversation? I you came out here to make, me out of you, bro. Make, the, make peace what with you. Wrong, do you want peace or do you want to, do you want to clash? Well, what are you doing, man? No, 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 I can hear them from here. What? No, no, no. It's going around in circles, like... Let's just be You're with, unbelievable. Let's just be man. mean, mate. Look, you know, let bygones be bygones. Let the water under no, the That's not bridge. enough for me. What do you want? You want, you want blood? You I want, want gold? gold? I want to be the best person I can be. How do we fix us? I, I do. I'm trying to come to a I resolution. I, I can't. Take a breath. Take a breath, right? I'm calm, my man. Yeah, okay, take a breath. I am calm. I, here's the olive branch the, the last time. I want to make peace with you. I want to go forward. We're moving forward. We're moving as forward. A, as yes. a sole team, best assets. We're, we're leaving the shit behind and we're moving forward, yes? Yep. There we go. That's the way men do it. I'm happy about that. Empathy and sympathy don't come easy for me. That just doesn't compute to me. Fucking useless cunt. I just can't be fucking putting up with that shit. I hate being called a bully. Like, I don't think I bullied anyone today. Fucking useless. As Lockie continues to criticise Paulie, the DS meet to analyse the recruit's strengths and weaknesses. I do not take any pride in doing this. I didn't think I'd be doing that on this course at all. Do you know what? It's a shame with number 14, but it's the nature of the beast. Once your head goes, it's, there's no turning back. Straight into the hard day today with um, Cliff Assault. Yeah. Communication number 15, great. Number seven was the other one on the radio. OK, Mills, Darbs is coming up next with the rope. OK, sweet, let me know how he goes. They did it, they got up and yeah, they, they finished it. 
Team Bravo. Uh, what I saw today was just inexcusable. I don't know what we're waiting for. Paulie, am I able to drop the rope? Just give me a minute. Just dropping it. Just hold up, Lachlan. If I'm looking at that team and I'm going, right, I need someone to rely on, I'm like, number two, a liability. Get out my fucking way. Number 10, get the fuck out of my way. Yeah. Go right to the back. He thinks he knows everything. Yeah. He hasn't got a fucking clue. He hasn't clue. got a clue. He is someone that will get himself killed on ops. Yeah. And put his whole team in jeopardy. Yeah. Out of all the people I've taken on this course, I haven't felt like this to someone to go, you are a danger. You need a fucking wake up call. I would love to just fucking cull him. We've got to do something about it because it's, I think it's irresponsible for us not to really take this seriously. Get outside! You've got five minutes to get on parade! As each recruit is responsible for keeping their kit in order at all times, you're wasting time! The DS know that numbers 2 and 10... Get in there and sort your shit out. ...have been too busy arguing to do just that. Hurry up! ...and will use them as an example to all. When I say go, take your Bergens off, place them in front of you. Go. Move! Get your dry kit out and place them on your Bergens. When you get the call, we need to make sure that you are good to go. Your kit's packed. You're psychologically prepared to go at the flick of a switch. Bang! Not only must every recruit always have dry kit in their Bergens, but it must be clean as well. So these are wet. Where's your T-shirt? Sorry, I thought I pulled that out. I don't fucking pulled it all over my eyes. Give it here. Give it here. Number five, you seem like a smart guy. What would you say is his clean T-shirt? I would say would be uh, the shirt you are wearing. It's pretty fucking obvious, isn't it? Correct stuff. Do not try and pull the wool over my eyes. If you fucked up, just tell me you fucked up. Switch the clothes two days. No. OK, I fucked up. Sorry, so there's no excuses. Put it away. Put it away. Thank you, sir. Why are these wet? I couldn't get them dry. I've got my dry ones in there. How come everyone else has dry socks? Just answer the fucking question. Put on the wrong socks. Why does everyone else have fucking dry socks? Put on the wrong socks. Stuff. I've given you ample time to dry your shit, haven't I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ample time. Grab this. One round and fucking freely submerge yourself. Go, number 10, move, move. Grab your kit in your hands and freely submerge yourself. Keep, stay there with your head out. Number two, grab your kit, run round, hurry up. Get in there, freely submerge yourself, stay in there. These two fuckwits would last two, three days in the field maximum with their shit admin and they haven't even been in the field. You two, get out, get on your spots, go, move, hurry up, hurry up. Because of these two fuckwits, all of you are going to get in the fucking trough. When I say go, number four, run round, free to merge yourself, get back on your spot. Go! Number 13, go! It's hugely important that people take this course seriously. Disrespect the process, disrespect the DS. 
you will regret it, and you will suffer. Fucking sucks, doesn't it, number six? Go! Get back out! Free to merge yourself! Get back out! Get back on your spot! Thank number 10, number two, for the extra hours of administration because they couldn't be fucking asked. Number two, step out here. Number 10, step out here. Number four, between these two, who is the bigger liability? On the ground, in the accommodation, who is the bigger liability? Number two, staff. Number 12, same question. Number two, staff. Six, same question. Number two, staff. It's very fucking interesting that you should say that. And I cannot believe that you two, number 10 and number two, have fucking stood out here. Because we were talking about you two this evening. And we were talking about being a liability. You, number 10, actually picked the post. So I don't know what type of voodoo magic he's got over you. Because number 10, you are the fucking biggest liability at this moment. Number two, fuck me. I think you might have just drawn level with that shambles this evening. I say go get back behind your burgundies, you two. Go! Move! Do not try and pull the wood over our eyes. We've seen everything. And I say go, disappear off my parade square and start sorting your shit out. It's gonna be a very fucking long night. Go, move, move off my parade square. Grab your kit and move. Move, number two, move. Hurry up, hurry up. Next. I won't fucking ask. Lockie goes into meltdown as he comes face to face. What's going through your fucking head? With the DS. Who the fuck do you think you are? That was the socky drop. <laughs> After being outed by the DS as the biggest liability within the group. How's that fucking work? I feel like I need to fucking prove myself. I'm not. I'm the biggest fucking liability here. Number 10 Lockie is finding it hard to accept the harsh truth. Well, fuck it. If, he, if they think I'm a liability, like the worst liability here, it's fucking bullshit. Don't worry about it, Stan. We're all wet. We all got to dry our shit. How am I a fucking liability? I was carrying two fucking bags, carrying the whole fucking body. I'm just not a crier. I can't, like, remember the last time I had a good cry. I won't fuck it off. But sometimes you have to cry. Like, look at Sam Burgess. Everyone fell in love with him when he cried. Don't worry, don't worry. It's OK. Number 10. Can you go and get number 10? Absolutely. Like, I, I want to know why I'm a liability. Don't worry about it. Like, how, how, like, can you just tell me? You've been called. Angered by Lockie's messy kid and attitude in the task. Come on, number 10! The DS have a few things to say to him. Come on, fuck me! You should be out of that pit like fucking Polaris. you think you are I was fucking shaking today and I was that close to just going down and fucking taking your number off of you number two surprised he hasn't fucking pulled you aside and said fucking hell mate why'd you what's going on 
We had a quick chat. Oh, you've had a chat? Yeah. And who pulled who aside? He came up and grabbed me and we had a He quick grabbed chat. you? Exactly. Well, that's fucking good of him. You need to acknowledge that right now that you've actually learnt something off of number two. What does Lockie rhyme with? Cocky. But you've heard that before, haven't you? Yeah, stuff. Because you're a cocky cunt. Do you know that? Yeah, stuff. What's going through your fucking head? I saw you dive in there today being a fucking hero. I was like, he thinks he's on a fucking reality TV show. Do not get as confused with being on fucking Survivor, on Bachelor, because this is not what this course is about. And do not insult us or your fucking team members in that way. Your head is in the wrong place. It's in a fucking TV reality space. It's not in the fucking military space. Do you think you're better than everyone else? Do you think you're stronger than everyone else? You're a fucking bully. If you want to play the hero, then fucking go and serve your fucking country. Go and bury your fucking muckers. Do not play being a hero, because that is the biggest insult for us that you can do. There are people that serve, and then there's people that serve themselves. I know 100% that I am selfish. I always put myself first, and that's why I wanted to come on here to make some fucking But back up a people. second. If you already know that, then why aren't you because using this opportunity to fix I'm it? I'm trying. Like, I don't know where it comes from. I don't, like, it's like I, I just have to be number one. There's a fine line between being number one and being one. Please, Sam. Just step back, help everyone else put, like, just learn from others. You know, all these selections, the two big things that are looked at is performance and safety, right? So performance, you know you've got that down. But safety, your own safety and other safety is key. No more fuck-ups. And I mean that, no more fuck-ups from you. Because you'll, you'll be gone. That's tough. God! I'm glad number two pulled him aside. Yeah, it's the bigger guy. When he said, you mean I need to let others, like, mm, yeah, shine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Meaning, I'm going to back off uh, and yeah, not yeah, win. Yeah. He's assuming he's going to still win. Should just humble himself. Yeah. If he doesn't sleep on it tonight and action it, then we're wasting our time. This is fuck, man. This is so fuck. I'm pretty sure the DS wants to see me get beaten down to a pulp and kind of rise up and become a better person. So, we'll see. <laughs>